Alright, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And let's get straight into today's video. Because in today's video, we're going to be doing 600 pulls or 600 keys on the gear chest event. Uh, because this event has finally come around. Uh, however, unfortunately, the event has been nerfed. Uh, it is what it is, you know. At this point, they're just going to nerf everything. So, I just laugh it off and it is what it is. Uh, the rewards used to be, I do have an old video on this. If you guys do want to check it out it's like one of my first 10 videos on the channel a very long time ago but if you want to check out that video and what the rewards used to be we're going to be doing 600 pulls obviously uh, because this event hasn't been around for like ages it's been like two to three months uh, if you're wondering why i do have so many keys i believe it's vip 8 or 10 if i'm not mistaken let's go it's either vip 10 this quest or it's either VIP 8 uh, that does give you the gear chest keys daily I think it's two to three every day uh, so we have saved up since our last video on this uh, event 600 keys uh, which was way back in April uh, so we're gonna be doing 600 pulls and I do have a sheet that we're gonna be going over just tracking different uh, resources that we get from the event so the main resources you want to be looking out for are the amount of awaken alloys you're getting from the event so at the moment in my bag I do have 39 awaken alloys uh, so we're going to be keeping track of how many awaken alloys we get from the event uh, you can actually get c17 weapons from this event however there's only five characters I think uh, big mom blackbeard katakuri and you can get shiki and uh, Rayleigh's weapons. I don't really care about Chicken Rayleigh's weapons. I have like 10, 15 of those. Uh, but Big Mum, I have four weapons currently in my bag. Uh, so I can max her weapon out. One more weapon for her would be nice to potential six if I ever want to potential six her. Um, Blackbeard, I have seven weapons at the moment. Uh, two more would be absolutely amazing because if you don't know, you need eight weapons total to get a character's weapon. Uh, from zero stars to eight stars and then you also need one additional weapon to potential six that character so nine weapons in total is what you're looking for for your characters um so if we can pick up two more blackbeard weapons that would be absolutely amazing um that'd be the biggest prize for me uh, then category i have his weapon at one star and three weapons so we need another five weapons for category uh, that'd be absolutely amazing as well and then the last two things we're going to be keeping track of are the C16 weapon boxes. Now these boxes are extremely important for bounty ranking uh, because each C16 weapon in the bounty ranking actually grants you 1000 points. So at the moment in my account I do have 230 boxes. Uh, when they do uh, when they do pop up in the pools you actually get 20 boxes uh, per pool which is actually quite insane. So you actually get 20k points. Uh, per pool so we're going to be keeping track of that and then obviously you can actually get diamond boxes from this event um so we're going to be keeping track of how many boxes we get of the 88 diamonds the 128 the 288 and the 588 boxes so, uh, we're going to be keeping track of all this stuff you can do the same thing as you're watching the video keep track and yeah i'll update you guys at the end of the video on how much we get of everything all right without further ado let's get straight into opening so our first 10 keys let's see what we get We get Inquis Luffy, we get one Awaken only, a bunch of Shanks, you can also get Shanks uh, weapon as well, I don't, you can also get Shanks shards as well, um, so we got basically 3k points just there, because Inquis Luffy uh, weapons are 1000 points as well, and then we got 10 Awaken Alloys, uh, one Awaken Alloy, sorry, alright, then the next 10, um, we didn't get much there, Now we got a lot God's Rod. And then you can also get C17 um, rings and necklaces. So that's amazing there. We got a Dark Jade necklace. Absolutely amazing. I'll take any of those that I can get. Another 3,000 points there for our bounty ranking. Um, so that's amazing. Another 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 points. Like this event is actually really good uh, for bounty ranking points. You can rack up a lot of C16 crew uh, weapons, which is absolutely amazing. 
but what we're looking at for is Blackbeard's weapon or Katakuri's weapons. And you do guarantee one awaken only every 10 if you didn't know that either. There's more Blackbeard weapon shards. So that's absolutely amazing. No... Oh, there we go. You can actually get Shanks' weapon. I wasn't actually sure. So we did pick up Shanks' weapon. So add that to the list. Um, I did have one Shanks weapon before this. So that's one to the list. Uh, so that's absolutely amazing. So we already have one C17 weapon in the first, not even 100 draws. Uh, nothing on this one. But like, we're getting so many points though. White Jade Necklace, absolutely amazing. Another 3k points. And we get so many points from this event. Not much there. I'll also take the Advanced Jade Rings. Uh, because upgrading your rings is extremely hard in the game. Like, compared to necklaces, upgrading rings, you guys probably know, they're so hard to upgrade. Another 2,000 points. Hopefully we can pick up a Blackbeard weapon. That would be amazing. Nothing there. More points. More shards, which is amazing. Another Dark Jade Necklace. Beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. We're almost 200 draws in. Let's see if we can get another weapon. Nothing there. Unfortunately, more points, another 3,000 points. No C16 boxes at the moment, so we've been quite unlucky with those. Another Shanks weapon, absolutely amazing. So we've gotten two Shanks weapons, a colored jade ring, absolutely amazing, and then more shards for his weapon. That's absolutely, that's probably our best temple so far. Uh, there we go. As you can see, you get 20 uh, C16 chests as one pool. Like, that's absolutely amazing. That's 20,000 points just in that pool. Like, that's absolutely amazing. Another color jade ring. Absolutely amazing. Nothing on that one. More points. There we go, we actually got Sabo Flame Flame Fruit weapon as well. Another SSR character, you can actually get Sabo Flame Flame Fruit's weapon. Uh, so that's another one added to the list. So we actually got three C17 characters weapons so far. Uh, more points, 3k more points. A colored jade ring, very good. No diamond boxes so far. I've actually been quite unlucky with the diamond boxes. Not a single one. Um, white jade necklace, absolutely amazing. So they must have lowered the rates on the diamond boxes. Another white jade necklace, absolutely amazing there. Another Shanks weapon. Wow, another Shanks weapon. We've got three Shanks weapons. Only if those were Blackbeard's weapons. I mean, I'll take them, but... And then we got an Omni Awakening bag. Which is amazing. If only another Colored Jade necklace. Beautiful. Uh, then we got Shiki's weapon. As I said, you can get Shiki's weapon. Colored Jade necklace as well. Another White Jade necklace. Oh, a white jade ring. That's the first one we've gotten of that. Bunch of points here. Mistaken. Damn, we got nothing in these last 100, 200 pulls. Oh, there we go. We got another 20 box. That's another 20k points. Absolutely amazing. Dark jade ring. So last 10, I think. Another white jade ring. I think that's our last 10 right there. Let me just go check. Claim our rewards. Should be it. Yep, that's the last 600 there. Let's 
so we're just gonna claim our rewards so if we go back to the exchange shop and then we exchange we have 694 shards and then we exchange the awaken alloys we can get another 28 and we have 99 at the moment so let's go to our bag and let's tally up what we actually got Alright, so these are the results. We actually gained plus 88 Awaken Emily, so 127 I have in total now uh, from the event, so that's absolutely amazing. Uh, we actually didn't get any Big Mom weapons, no Blackbeard weapons, no Katakuri weapons. Uh, however, we did get three Shanks weapons and one Sabo Flame Flame Fury weapon, so not a total um, failure or anything. We still got four C17 weapons. Uh, plus Shiki as well. Alright, now one thing I did forget to mention, uh, we did actually get 150 shards of all the weapons for these characters. Uh, so technically, we did actually get one weapon for every character. Uh, so we did get one additional uh, Big Mom weapon, even though we didn't actually pull one. Same as Blackbeard, Katakuri, Shanks, um, and Sabo. So we actually did get one, two, three, uh, plus four. So we got seven, eight, nine weapons in total if you add all the shards that we got so we actually got nine c17 weapons technically in total uh, because 150 shards equals one weapon of the character uh, so that's absolutely amazing um, and then we actually only got 40 boxes i was expecting a little bit more for 600 keys but we have 270 boxes now we got plus 40 um, so an extra 40k points uh, that's not counting all the C set. That's not counting all the C16 weapons themselves that we got. Uh, so we probably got like over 100k points uh, just from this event. Uh, and then I do have one 128 box in my bag, which I'm not sure if we actually got that from the event or not. Um, someone in the comment section down below can let me know. It's right here. I'm not sure if I actually got this from the event. I don't recall getting one. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the 600 key pulls, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys in the next video.